Great. Hey, what up, peeps, and welcome back to another episode of Cable Plays. Cable Plays Red Dead Redemption. Look around, guys. In all its Mexican glory, we have finally made it into old Mexico. And it's been a long time coming, I think. On our way down here, we met the the strange old guy that's got the uh, flyer. And, of course, we got a little side mission here and there to help him out with that. But, you know, we got to gotta head on down and, and talk to Mr. Ricketts. As soon as my horse gets over here. I decided to put on the uh, the, the old Mexican outfit uh, with the little uh, pullover poncho and the sort of brimmed hat, just kind of in the honor of uh, being down here. It may not be the outfit that we keep on. I kind of like the the one that we had, which was the assassins, and the assassins always makes sure that. Uh, there's a blue guy over here. Why is there a blue guy over here? Always make sure that we have plenty of uh, uh, dead eye. Oh, he's inside of the. Oh, he's right here. Sure. I shall accept I your duel, sir. Come on! I wish to do where everyone see me kill you. you know? No. Rockstar did make the uh, the Mexican guys a little racist. <laughs> Uh, they were they were a little racist in the way they made him one or the other. I kill you. My gun looks golden. <laughs> That's right. Run away. Let's go. I kind of went the wrong way when I came down here, so we got a little bit of a ride to get to where we need to go for Mr. Rickett. Or Ricketts. Now I remember when uh, the first time I played the game, and and I know I said it numerous times, just how gorgeous it is. Uh, but seriously, I mean, look at where we're at. And when I the first time I played the game and I got into Mexico, I thought, man, this place is even better. You know, I didn't really care for uh, Blackwater and the areas surrounding Blackwater. Although, don't get me wrong, I thought those areas were gorgeous too, but. I have to say, Old Mexico really holds a special place in my heart. I mean, it is just absolutely gorgeous with the mesas uh, going up everywhere and and uh, the shrubbery and the scenery and yeah, Let's go. definitely one of my faves. Definitely the fave, actually, if I really want to get that technical with it. Perdido. Figure while we're on our way to Mr. Ricketts. Now, from what I recall, there's there were no hunting challenges down here. I'm pretty sure there's no hunting challenges down here. But I do know that um, there there is still the. Um, uh, the herbalist challenges. As a matter of fact, we look at our old journal. 
Oh, and Treasure Hunter is down here, and I know where that one's at. Survivalist. We need to collect eight prickly pears. They're found around Punta Orgullo. Orgullo. Uh, what about Sharpshooter? Is Sharpshooter down here? No, that's bears. And then Hunter is elk and bighorns. And... Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be Blackwater. Hey, stop! But I figure we might as well kind of. Oh, awesome! I failed to save the dude. And even more awesome, my horse is going to be... Where did everybody go? Oh. <laughs> is that a bird? That's a hat. We need to change our weapon. Sorry you died, dude. Why why can't I walk over him? You know what? I feel bad. Now you don't have to worry about nothing. Let's make this quick. Ooh, some some of the glitches happening in uh, Come on. with this uniform. Now, while you're down here. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm going to completely contradict myself. However, um, one of the things that I do know is, is that while you're down in this area, uh, there are some foxes and coyotes and stuff like that. And they just have different kinds of pelts um, than what the uh, normal ones do that you get up around Armadillo and New Austin. And you can take the stuff from down here... And then uh, bring it up and make way more money off of those pelts Might as well. uh, than you would have. Oh, this is not the ones that I need to pick. I need hers. So, yeah, you can make yourself a little trade route going back and forth between Old Mexico and this area here. Um, but... If I were to be completely honest with you, and I do mean completely honest with you, you can make way more money. Um, there's a one spot that comes to mind. Um, let's see if I can find it on the map real quick. I think it's, mm, I don't want to say it's right around this area. No, you know what it is? It's right around this area. It's it's in these woods, like, ah, zoom in. Like right, oh my God, my joystick. Right about there. If you can see just to the uh, lower left quadrant there where of the crosshairs, there's a little... Uh, breach in the wall, right? You can actually get up that breach uh, or get up onto the next plateau from that breach. But if you hang out like right there, cougars spawn 
almost infinitely. And, and it's 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 horrible. Uh, make sure you bring a lot of medicine because if you don't, uh, what's going to wind up happening is you're going to get in there. Cougar's going to stealth you. He's going to kill your horse. Then you're going to kill the cougar. Then you're going to skin the cougar. While you're skinning the cougar, there is a really good chance, I mean a really good chance, that during the cutscene, especially if your back is towards one of those ridge lines, that you are going to see a cougar waiting for you to finish skinning his buddy. And then he's going to jump you, which is why you need the medicine. But when I was there, I was actually doing uh, a, uh, a bounty hunter mission uh, for this area here, and I was trying to sneak up on it uh, by coming around the backside here, and I killed one cougar, and it was one cougar right after another. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure I took down 10 cougars before I was ever able to move out of that area. So that is, uh, and I don't know if that was a fluke or not, but that, that happened in that area. And then, of course, if you get over here uh, by Gap Tooth, there is uh, more, or is are more cougars in this area, but you get a lot of wolves that spawn along this road right here, that stretch, and I find wolves to be that's the cisnet. Wolves also spawn down around here, but not as much as I've seen over on this side, on on this side of Gap Tooth, um, and. I, you can, because they spawn in packs of five, and usually you'll get four of them before the fifth one runs away. And wolf hearts are expensive, wolf pelts are expensive, wolf meat is expensive. And when you stock up on all that crap and then take it in for sale, I mean, it's cha-ching. It's, it's a $500 payday. Easy. Easy. And they spawn constantly, especially at night. Excuse me a sec, let me get some tea. Ah, sorry about that. What, bro? Come at me. Come on. I do love this area. I like the music that they that they have uh, playing, which is, you know, it's Red Dead Redemption-y, but it's also, it reminds me of like the old serial westerns that I would watch with my dad when I was a kid. Also reminds me like, you know, old style movies like um, Clint Eastwood, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and all that. Come on. Dang it, I'm pretty sure that little town's right where we're trying to go. It is right where we're trying to go. Yeah. I can't remember for the life of me, but I don't think... Uh, Let's go. It's been quite some time since I've actually played this game. I don't think that you can get back into uh, America before you get to a certain point in time in these quests here. Like, you're down here. You're down here. Well, we're here, though. Let's get over and Chuparosa. Go meet up with hey, Mr. Ricketts. You make some money? Ven conmigo. They're delivering provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons, I give you good money.
Chinguen a su madre. Oh yeah, this is when we get our our next level. Dead eye, final level of dead eye. Hey gringo, hablas español? No sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito español. Habla English? Oh, sí gringo, hablo mucho inglés. Hablo. Filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo? Comprende? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> What harm could you do to us, exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. As you wish. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. Well, many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> but he and I want to go and loot their corpses. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? <laughs> Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? 
Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now Ooh, that's we got the Schofield. Malissimo! The Spanish Comuna Niña! Stay with it. Well done. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Tuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Uh -huh. Nicely done, sir. Are you coming? I'd like to pretend I'm a busy man. Well, he's a little ornery. Oh, they're not Senor there for Ricketts. me to lose. Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, senor! Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. One of my favorite things when you have to do so something like this, where you're going to follow someone, you just have to hold the A button. And if you do it right, you get on the right side of them, you don't even have to steer. It'll just pretty much follow the, the horse around you. That doesn't happen all the time like you just saw, but sometimes it will. I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Let's go. Keep your eyes peeled. Bandits don't give up easy. Come on. I can see you haven't lost your touch, Landon. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight no more. You're a long way from being a Landon Rickett partner. Young, old, or otherwise. Dios mío! Viene el mar! Estamos muertos! So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not gonna stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. 
damn right they don't. My sour cast is little apprentice. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Landon Rickett. Or Ricketts. Or something like that. We need to go purchase some property. Great. I just want to friggin' buy a house. I don't know why they can't just leave me alone. They call at me, they call at me. What? Come on. Whoa there. Get off. Climb back over. House purchased. Mission successful. Must now save game. Well, guys, I tell you what. That's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. If you like what we're doing on the YouTubes, go ahead and give us a little love on the like button, okay? Don't forget to tell all your friends about us because, you know, social media and all that other good stuff is what we're supposed to be doing in any case. And subscribe so you know when the new videos are coming out. With all that having been said, welcome to old Mexico, boys and girls, and we will catch you next time. Peace out, peeps.